Hello everyone, my name is Mateo Salvador, welcome back to another episode of Run8. We are here in Barstow on the Run8 community server, and as you can see, the yard is very busy. Very busy. And the yard is only getting busier. Chris is the yard master for Barstow, and he's been working around the clock to get trains moving. And to be completely honest, the yard looks amazing. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into this episode. We're going to start off today's episode by talking about some new things that have come to the server recently. And then once we're done with that, we're going to run a short local out of UP Bakersfield. First thing we're going to talk about is new members. If you are a new member and you would like to join our Run8 server, join my Discord. The link is in the description. So, after you join the Discord, you're going to head to Server Member Requests and you are going to request access to the Run8 server. We will then ask you two questions. Have you read the Server Rules Operations channel? And what is your experience in Run8? Then, after we ask those two questions and you have answered them, we are going to go back to the new server members channel and we have a brand new skills check scenario. You're going to download this file. You'll go to your Run8 folder. Go to Run8 v3, go to content, uh, v3 routes, go to regions, Southern California, and then go to trains. And the, the file that you downloaded will have two smaller files in it. This. And all you're going to do is put it here. Yes, there we go. And so by putting it into your trains folder, go under world, and you'll see the skills check scenario just here. Load it in, and that's where we do the skills check. A moderator will contact you, and you will go through the skills check scenario. Um, it's very easy. Should be no more than 10 to 15 minutes. Um... In the event that you fail, you can always try again, ask us all the questions you need. We will help you get through the skills check scenario. You just have to ask us for help. We've had to implement this on the server because recently we've had a lot of new members come in and they'll be like, oh, I know everything there is about Run8. I can drive trains. I can do everything. They join the server and we come to realize they actually have no idea how to play Run8. So they join the server and they start causing all this chaos. They refuse to ask us questions. And they refuse to respond to any of our messages, so we really have no choice except to boot them from the server. Now with that said, if you're a brand new member to the Run8 server, don't be afraid to make mistakes. As long as you're active in chat and you're asking us questions, we're willing to help you fix your mistakes. And we might even brush it under the rug just because of the fact that you're asking questions and you're active. It's when you're not active that we really don't have many choices as to what to do. But anyways, that is the skills check. Join the server. It's a lot of fun. We will help you do the skills check. Do not worry. And now back to Run8. We're going to talk about some new server things. Um, first off, we're going to talk about the Deep Clean event. During the month of December, we ran an event called the Deep Clean. And basically what we did is we disabled our supply trains. None of our random supply trains spawned into the server. We ran whatever trains were left. Ran them, serviced the industries, and sent them off the map. By the end of the event, the server was 100% empty. There were no trains left. We did this event to start off 2023 on a fresh start. And the event is now over and supply trains are back on the server. And local trains, such as this one, are running again. Um, Murray was taking this train. Oh, there he is. Yep, this is uh, Murray. He's uh, one of the players on our server. And he's taking uh, LOP51, I believe this is. Listen to those sounds. If you're interested on this sound pack, um, server member RJ, who is actually one of the founders of our Run8 server, um, developed a pack for the truck sounds, and it is available on my Discord. It's also available on the Run8 Enhancements Discord. It does sound really good. So, another thing. With the end of the Deep Clean event, supply trains are now on the server, and we have also introduced Amtrak operations. If you want to get involved with Amtrak on our server, um, Deebs, who is the yard master for Amtrak, um, is the one who set up our systems and everything. Deebs is the one to go to if you want to run Amtrak. I must say, it's really cool to see the Amtrak yard in LA get life. 
Previously, we never used this yard, but now that we have Amtrak operations, the yard is full of locomotives and Amtrak. Um, these boxcars here are from the Amfleet pack, which I do not currently own. And something really, really, really cool about the Amtrak yard is that the turntable actually works. Look at that. So if you hit left control F6, um, you can turn the turntable. And uh, I, I always thought that this was just here for like cosmetics and decorations. Um, but it's really, really cool to see. Oh, what, what just happened there? Wait, what, what was that? Wait, what, what just happened? Okay, that was really weird. For some reason, the turntable jumped. Um, I don't know. But if you want to get away from running freight trains, Amtrak is available. And last but not least is our brand new job system. So for the last six-ish months, I want to say, uh, we had a spreadsheet system on the server. And we still have a spreadsheet system. The spreadsheets look kind of like this. This is where we posted all the trains on the server. All the trains on the server were organized into spreadsheets. This spreadsheet that we're looking at here is UP Bakersfield. And looking on the spreadsheet here, we can see that one train on track number seven is ready to go. That's what released meant. Released meant the train was ready to depart. We can see that LS916J is on track number seven, and it is ready to go. However, trains like LS910J is restricted, which means that the train isn't ready to go. I'm only saying this because I know how the spreadsheets work. However, a lot of people were confused about this system. We got a lot of questions. Um, how do I know if this train's ready to go? What does this mean? What does restricted mean? Can I take the train that says released? And there was always a lot of confusion about how the spreadsheets work and how to see what trains were ready and all of that. We're, ne we're not going to do away with the spreadsheet system. But I will just admit one thing. Even I sometimes found myself getting a little bit confused about the spreadsheets. And not knowing if maybe that train was ready to go. So, with our brand new job board system, this, this right here is all of the trains that are ready to go. These are all the trains that have already been built, they've already been uh, serviced and everything like that, and they are ready to depart their yards. So, let's just take a look at LS916J, for example. We can see that LS916J right now is currently available, and if I click on it, this is the information. We can see it's on, in Bakersfield on track number 7. The lead units is 3613 and 3545. And then we have a description. It's a local train servicing the industries near CP Sacco. And we have further information that it's organized to work starting at the head end. And then we can go into the spreadsheet here. Here's the spreadsheet for UP Bakersfield. We click on the spreadsheet. And here we are in UP Bakersfield. We can look here. Here's LS916J and it is ready to go. And so... I want to take LS916J. That's the train that we're going to run today. So to take it, I'm going to go here and I'm going to say um, running LS91, LS916J. And I'm going to post that. And then what I will do is in LS916J, I'm going to right click. I'm going to go to edit tags. I'm going to click this. I'm going to, no, I'm not going to click this. I have to click in progress. And then I'm going to click this. And now the job here says in progress. So that means that somebody is taking this train. Um, there's a couple other things on here. On hold, concluded. Uh, concluded means it's finished. So when we're done with the job, we're going to put concluded. And then there we go. The job has now finished. And Lumberjack, who is the yard master for BNSF Bakersfield and UP Bakersfield, will see that and he will archive the post. Um, but since we're running that train, we're going to put it to in progress and... Um, and then we're going to click concluded so that uh, it just says in progress. And with that said, let's run LS916J. And as you can see, it's a very small train here today. Um, we have one car for fit, one for bid. Actually, excuse me, we have three for bid. Uh, we have a loaded tanker for SCH, which is a custom industry uh, that we have added on the server. And we also have one for CPS. Um, all right, good. Let's get an EOTD on the back of this, and then we can get this show on the road. So there we go. That's going to start running, and uh, let's go. 
All right, so we're in the cab here. Just going to do a couple things. Going to turn that off. Going to turn the gauge lights on, which does that. And uh, let's also turn on the windshield wipers because, uh, well, we got a pretty bad storm out there. Look at that. Yeah. Well, without further ado, let's get this show on the road. All right, so we're going to have a pretty interesting uh, journey today. Um, we actually have a human dispatcher currently dispatching Mojave. Uh, so I'm going to have to contact the dispatcher to get a green signal here. Um, let me see. I, I don't know if he's going to answer to the tone, but it's tone 54. All right. Um, let's see. Does that work? Um, I don't know if he's going to respond to that. All right, real quick, I'm just gonna put uh, UP3613 Mojave. UP3613 Mojave. And let's see if he responds to that. Answering Mojave, all right, where are we? Uh, let me just bring the train to a stop real quick. Um, UP3613 is LS916J. Requesting departure from UP Bakersfield to Sacco. We're going to go to Sacco. Um, let's see. UP3613 uh, is LS916J uh, requesting departure from UP Bakersfield to Sacco. All right, there we go. And let's see if he gives us the signal here. All right, he has responded to us, and he wants us to stand by, so we're going to bring the train to a stop just over here and await his further instructions. All right, he's given us some instructions. UP3613, symbol LS916J, clear to move to UP Bakersfield. Uh, from UP Bakersfield to Sacco, proceed on signal indication, main number two. Um, all right, cool. Oh, there we go, and he has given us the signal, so we are ready to go. Listen to that horn. All right, and here we go. We have just departed UP Bakersfield. We can now continue to Sacco Siding, which if you look at the map here, Sacco Siding is just up here. Um, I would like to go on to main one though. Um, all right, it's okay. And the speed limit's now 50, so we can give it some more power here. Don't wanna like absolutely break the train or anything, but let's go. All right, we got another green signal. We are clear to go. It definitely is a foggy day out, and man, I chose a great day to do this video. <laughs>
we're gonna bring the train to a stop. Unfortunately, I almost brought the train to an emergency stop because I wasn't paying attention and I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do and in doing that, I almost brought the train to an emergency stop. Um, we are going to bring the train to a stop just after this little siding here and that is because we have a car that goes to CPS and CPS is an industry just down there. Um, so I'm just gonna leave the car on that little track there for later and I'm gonna leave that on. That little counter right there basically is measuring um, the distance between where we start and the end of the train. So this here will tell us when the end of the train gets to the end of that siding. Um, that's all that does. So now we can stop. Probably could have stopped a lot sooner, but I didn't because I was not thinking that through. And we will flip this switch. Alright, and we can stop the train just right here, as long as it's out of the way of the main. Uh, right here should do. Yeah, I think right here should do. Alright, and right there should do. Let's open up the coupler and release this. Um, if I just drive forward, the car will stay here and it'll go into emergency. Alright, well with that said, this car is going to CPS, so we're going to leave it just here for now. We'll put the EOTD here. All right, let's go. All right, and now we can close the switch here and we can carry on up to Sacco. Real quick, I'm gonna set this switch so that we can enter the yard. All right, we have an orange light here and I've already set the switch. So we just have this railroad crossing here. And then once we get into the yard there, we're gonna stop and organize our train. Nice. You know, I haven't been here in quite some time. Bear in mind if I have no idea where I'm going. First things first on our list is a tanker. Um, at the very end of the train, we have a tanker that is supposed to go into this little industry here. Um, this here is Industry SCH. It is a custom industry that we have on our industry config, um, which unfortunately, as you can see, the track is facing in the wrong direction. So uh, we're just going to have to wait and get that uh, service this industry on the way back. I have a plan about how I'm going to do that, um, but we'll leave that industry for last. Why is this light green? I, I don't understand this light here. Why, why is it green? That, that's a little weird. Um, you know, the weird thing about this signal is it's a signal on what we call a dark track um, or dark siding. And basically what a dark siding is, is it's a siding that doesn't show up on the DS board. And there are these two signals here. There's one for the industry and there's one for the yard. And I thought that light was supposed to be red because you can't control that signal here. Um, the only signal that you have control of is that one just over there, which is at Sacco Sighting. Um, so I'm a little bit confused about this signal here. Um, may maybe it's an automatic signal. Hold on. L let's see if I try something. Um, if I was to flip this switch... Here, th this will just answer the question. If I was to flip this switch here, will this light here turn green? Ah, it does. Okay, and that light is red. Okay, so this right here, these two are automatic signals. I had no idea that you could have a signal on a manual switch. I guess we learn things... I... I get... I... Bleh. I guess we learn new things every single day, don't we? Alright, so with that said, uh, let me take this. I'm gonna remove that, and I will... Oh, I gotta... Gotta pull the train forward just a bit, because the coupler is stretched apart, so we can't disconnect it. Alright, will that work? There we go. If I do that, and then do that, there we go. And so now the car is in, oh no, please, please, please. <laughs> I didn't want it to connect. All right, we should be able to move forward now, and there we go, nice. 
And because we're doing switching operations, I'm just going to put a flag here and uh, we can carry on. All right, so the first industry we got to service is bid and fit. Um, and bid and fit are just over there. They're literally right next to each other. So this won't be a very hard maneuver. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, we should have brought the tanker here. Um, because I just realized we're going to need to run around that tanker just to push it into SCH. And, um, well, this would have been a, the, a great place to put it. And, uh, well, Mateo was not thinking. Alrighty, so, uh, we're gonna go into this track right here. Alright, so here we go. Um, cars going to bid, go right here. Cars going to fit, go on that siding just there. So, I'm gonna get a timer real quick. Um, just so that we can stop where we need to. And then we'll put bid into the siding. We'll get fit into its place, and then we'll go grab those two tankers from earlier. It does not look like we have any pickups for today, so uh, we'll be going uh, light power back to the yard. You know what? I have an idea. Because we're right here, um, let's disconnect the train, and let's get, let's put the, the boxcar going to fit into the siding here, and then um, we will reverse these three refrigerator cars into bid. All right, right there should do. We can stop the train. And of course the coupler is gonna be stretched apart even though that, okay, yeah, that's stretched apart. Never mind. All right, let's just close this and back it up a hair. There we go. There we go. All right, we'll flip this switch here, and then we have to flip this one. And this is where those uh, refrigerator cars are going to go. So there we go. Nice. We got a flat spot on one of these wheels. Do you hear that? Oh, man. <laughs> well, whatever. I guess we're just going to have our eardrums. Uh, I mean, maybe our eardrums won't, like, burst because of this. But, like, we're just going to have to listen to... Duk, 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 duk. All right. We'll continue pushing these back until we reach the building here. Um, just because I assume that they would want us to park them at the door. Because I imagine that at these little doorways here, they're probably going to bring whatever products... Yeah, look at that. See? Look. Look at how ready they are to load these cars. They already have the products waiting at the doorways here. Let's just shove it back to this one. Well, I missed the door a little bit. No, 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 I don't want to go that way. I want to go that way. All right, and then if I do this, there we go. There we go, nice. Oh, and of course, the coupler connects again. <laughs> right as I hit stop record, the coupler, like, it made contact. There we go. And that is it. So these boxcars are now going to be serviced. We'll take the power back to UP Bakersfield. Bobtailing, maybe. All right, let's do a couple things. Let's flip this switch here. And that switch is already flipped. Let me just fly up here so I can make sure that everything else is as it should be. Um, I'm going to flip this switch. And then we're just going to continue all the way down to where that tanker is on the main line. 
All right, and we can get going. All right, and let's just stop the train right here um, because I need to get out and I need to flip a couple switches. There we go. Oh, all right. Um, so we're going to flip this switch. Uh, let's also flip this one. So boom. Let's get that one. And then we'll get this one. Wow, look at how fast the cars are traveling. <laughs> I don't know why I noticed that now, but wow, look at all the traffic. Wow, I must not have noticed that before. All right, so we'll take the train this way. Um, the dispatcher is currently talking to someone else. Um, so we'll just go to the signal and... Uh, let me see, actually. If I... I might be able to tone him up and kind of just say, Hey, I need your attention. Well, I have toned him and I also said his name here. So let's see. Oh, no, he's talking to somebody else. Barstow Mojave, BNSF 9290. Clear to siding at CP Edwards for further direction. Where's CP Edwards? Oh, uh, oh, here. Oh, look at that. Somebody is departing from Barstow and or was departing from Barstow advising you made the cross to back oh yeah we have a train currently being operated by heavy rescue um and he is going to Fresno on the Bakersfield sub we might catch him before he leaves all right the dispatcher has ranked me up so I'm just gonna stop right here and I'm gonna tell him what I need uh LS916 J Mojave LS nine one six J requesting signal at Sacco. All right, there we go. So let's see if he can give us the signal here. Well, he's told me to stand by. All right, all right so he has given us a signal uh, to proceed, and I also let him know that we are going to make some switching operations. So, uh, he, he, he'll know that we'll be in and out of this, this next block. He's given me track authority between Sacco and North Bakersfield. There we go. So, uh, we can do our switching operations. I probably should have told him that we're doing switching operations, um, because he was like, hey, where are you? Uh, what's your status? Um, and I was kind of just doing my thing. I'll have to remember that for next time. Huh, that was really weird. This signal took its time turning red. Um, I don't know if anyone else saw that, but the train passed and the signal stayed green until the train went over the switch. That was really weird. Uh, that, that, that was strange. Man, we got a really loud flat spot around here. Alright, well there's that tanker just there. Here, let's see if we can stop before... I was gonna say, let's stop before the railroad crossing, because honestly, we're, we're just light power. I, originally, I was gonna go over that, but why? Well, let's get this tanker and put it into the industry. Now, it is a loaded tanker right now. In a real-life scenario, uh, you would want to have a buffer car. And I probably should have brought one with me, but obviously I wasn't thinking about that. On our Run 8 server, we do use buffer cars, but we do not enforce them. Um, if you have a buffer car, use it. If you don't have a buffer car, it's no problem. All right, so let's close this up and let's go over here. Uh, open that up. That should be open. And then we'll partially open this one. Hopefully that'll fill up. Yep, filled up very quickly. Open that up all the way and we can bring this into the industry. Ah, like a glove. And let's flip that.
All right, here we go. We're sitting in the conductor's seat here. Our engineer is over there um, in the cab. And uh, we're just gonna bring it here. Let's start slowing down. Wow, the grade here on this little industry track is negative 66. I mean, negative 0.66, which it isn't a lot, but it's not, it's, 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 not a number to be, be to be, 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 not a number to be messed with. All right, um, that I think we'll do right there. Um, all right, so let's disconnect this. Actually, I do need to back it up just a hair so that the coupler is compressed. There we go. And that should do it right there. All right, good. Close that. Open that. Car will now be in emergency. And this industry will service. Man, the little bend in the track right here is no joke. Look at how tight that is. All right, and right there, we can stop the train. Bam. And bam. And so that we're ready, we'll just flip this switch while we're out. Actually, you know what? Now that I think about it, no. Let's leave this switch open. We're going to go down. Um, let's, let's go down to here. And we're going to take this little branch line up to here. And then we're going to reverse, grab the car that's over there, and bring it here. Um, because I need to back it into here. And I just realized that if I was to turn this switch and couple onto this end, um, I would need to go all the way down here. Um, all the way down here just to do a runaround operation. Um, so let's not do that. Well, with that said, let's get this show on the road. All right, well, here we go. We just have that car left, and then we are done for this local. All right, I'm just going to set up the dynamic brake here um, so we don't, like, totally, you know, destroy our, uh, our, our independent brake. Let's just use this to help maintain speed. All right, here we go. And I'm just going to keep it going a little bit here. Actually, you know what? Let me, let me keep the independent brake on. I'll give it a little... Oh, I mean the dynamic break. I'll keep the dynamic break on, and we'll just give it a little bit of independent. Um, think right there should do. Let's just go a little bit further. Er oh, that, that truck. Oh, man. That guy just ran the crossing. At least we're stopping. And let's go. Alright, well, let's be a little bit careful as we go around this bend here. Um, you don't want to take it too fast, because you take it too fast, and, uh, well, you'll probably derail. And uh, that, 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 uh, that would not be a good thing. Well, you know what's kind of funny? I, I think I forgot that I was recording. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I don't know what just happened. Alrighty, so let's flip that switch. Um, and now we're here, so let, let's, let's just carry on grab that tanker, which it's an empty tanker, so. All right, so as we carry along here, um, CPS is that building just right there. Wow, 
Why is this ringing so fast? Gee, okay. <laughs> I don't know why that sounds... Alright, I don't, I don't know why that was ringing so fast. That was a little weird. Oh, there we go. We can now finish this industry. Uh, let's... That should do just about right there. There we go. Let's stop the train. We'll flip the switch. And we're done. But first, I need to clean my glasses. I, I don't know if anybody else is like this, but there's like this big spot in the middle of my glasses. And it's like really bothering me. It's kind of bothering me right now. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> um, and I'm doing a terrible job cleaning them. But whatever. It's okay. L let me just like fix this so that my eyes stop hurting. All right, just got to flip this switch. I've already flipped the other one, so we're good. Uh, let's bring this car in here and uh, that'll be it for the switching operations here let's just get a little further in here and then we will stop it you know I was thinking about this as we're switching you know how we have like only one tanker here um, there is a chemical facility near uh, or in the next town over um, I need to go forward just a little bit so that I can um, there's a, a, a chemical facility, and the CSX actually services them. And uh, I was just thinking about how sometimes you can see, like, a boatload of tankers sitting there, and then sometimes you see only one tanker. Um, I think the last time I went there, there was one tanker sitting in the, uh, the, the, the industry track. Um, yeah, I don't know. I was just thinking about that. All right, let's open that up, and uh, we'll back the train up, and this is it for our switching operations. All right, let's flip this. And let's reverse to the branch track. Alrighty, and uh, let's get the switch here, and then we are ready to go back to BNSF, excuse me, UP Bakersfield. I don't know why, uh, this entire episode, I've been wanting to say BNSF Bakersfield. Maybe it's because I've spent most, well, I don't know, you know, I was gonna say I've spent most of my time in BNSF Bakersfield, but that's not true. Um, I think I, by now, I think I've probably spent more time in UP Bakersfield than BNSF Bakersfield. I don't know. You know what? Maybe it's because when I first got Run 8, um, I spent all my time in BNSF Bakersfield learning how to do everything around there. Um, I don't know. All right. I am speeding. Let's, um, <coughs> excuse me. Let me just, <coughs> let me, uh, let me lose my voice here. Uh, <laughs> all right. Let, let's not become a speed demon, shall we? Let, let's be very careful. I just need to slow down a little bit. There we go. That's better. I was, <laughs> Now I'm going 15 miles. I should probably keep the dynamic on because I'm just going to start. Look at that. Negative 1% grade right here. It's, uh, it's actually a pretty serious gradient if you're going downhill for quite a while.
All right, there we go. And once we get across the switch, we'll stop. We'll make sure that the switch is open for the main. That's what the pink means. Um, the pink here means that a switch like this one is currently open. Um, and we got to close it. So when we close the switch, that pink will go away. And then auto can route trains through there. All right, let's flip this. We're also just going to close this door while we're at it. And with that, let's go back to UP Bakersfield. Oh man, that guy, that guy wanted to run. You know that guy wanted to run the signal, or uh, the, the crossing. <laughs> you know, look at that. He even, he, 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 he got, he must have got into a wreck. One of his headlights are out. Hey, real quick, I have a question. Have you ever wondered what this guy's staring at? Have you ever wondered that there's a shoe right there inside of this box? Just uh, out of curiosity, that uh, there's somebody inside of the box. Can you believe this, man? Jimmy, can you believe it? Fred is hiding in the box. Is this supposed to be a porta potty? I have no idea. I mean, this is what it looks like. And uh, uh, Fred, did I say Fred? No, um, I don't know. Bill, Bill, I'm so sorry. Bill, Bill's your name. Um, I don't know. For whatever reason, Bill is hiding in the porta potty. No, 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 no. Ba -da -ba. And here is a wild rail fanner. <laughs> Fun little trip. Why am I so close to the window? <laughs> I have the window cracked open. Craziest thing is, I live in Ohio and it was 60 degrees yesterday. 60 degrees in a January. In a January? 60 degrees outside in January. On New Year's Eve, I had to take something out to the compost pile, and um, I was wearing a, 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 a sweatshirt, not a sweatshirt, I wasn't even wearing a sweatshirt, I was wearing a t-shirt. On New Year's Day, or New Year's Eve, I can't remember which one. Um, yeah. In Ohio. That's not normal. Kind of weird. The weather's getting really weird around here. And then guess what? We just had the coldest winter we've had in like 20 years. Um, it was negative six degrees outside. Um, during the week of Christmas, it was negative six degrees outside. Um, and then the week fall after Christmas, it went up to 60 degrees Fahrenheit. And I... I, 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 I uh, Negative six to 60 degrees. That, yeah. One day, our pipes are frozen, which actually happened. Our pipes froze during this negative six degree week. And now, now we're outside wearing a t-shirt. What is this? Like, seriously. All right, and we are approaching the yard. As you can see, I believe that's called a restricting, right? Um, we have a restricting signal. I think that's what that's called. I might be wrong on that. I, 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 I'm terrible with names. Don't quote me. Um, real quick, I'm going to stop the train just here because I need to flip a switch. Um, the Yardmaster for UP Bakersfield likes to leave this track here clear. Um, he likes to have this as like a, a run-through track. So when it comes to parking... Ooh, there's a train right there. I wonder if somebody's working. Um, actually, I don't think Lumberjack's on the server right now. No, so I'm the only one working in UP Bakersfield. Um, yeah, so anyways, um, he likes to have this track as a run, a run around track or like a, a run through track so that we can bring trains through here and stuff like that. So he li he's okay with me parking the trains here or here, um, or also at the fuel stand. All right, you know what? I guess I'll park it at the fuel stand. Um, all right, so I got to do this one. That one can stay like that. That can stay straight. And that looks good. All right, let's go. All right. And all right, you know, I was going to say 10 miles an hour felt like a good speed, but we're now going 15. And I think 15 is actually not a bad speed limit here. So let, let's just stay going 15. 
Well, with that said, let's turn the locomotives off. And um, we need to update the job channel. So if I go in here and I go to operations chat, um, not operations chat, I go to LS916J, I can go here, completed. So now that that is completed, I'll go in here and I can say um, edit post. Nope, I don't want to edit the post. <laughs> I want to go in here. I can edit the tags and go from in progress to concluded. So there we go. Um, I don't know if the yard master wants me to lock it. I could probably lock it. Um, I'll have to ask. And before we end the episode, CJP is currently working in West Colton. And look at West Colton. West Colton is just as busy as Barstow is right now. Um, <laughs> so if you want to join the fun, I really do recommend it. Um, join the Discord. Go go through the skills check, which is not that hard. And uh, you can have fun with us because we have quite a lot of stuff going on here. We got CJP over here working in West Colton. Um, I, I should probably get rid of that locomotive. Let me relinquish that. Um, let's see. We have Sviradon. He's currently taking a power move. Oh, no, he's not. He's taking a train to Barstow. Um, it's a unit train leaving Victorville to Barstow. Look at that. Nice. Three SD70s. Very good. And it is snowing. Man, I gotta say, the snow in this game is beautiful. Um, nice. So, he looks like he's gonna take this train to Barstow. Nice. Meanwhile, over here in Los Angeles, Nicholas is doing some switching in LAJ Yard. Um, I have never serviced these industries before. Look at all the industries around here. I've never serviced them. Um... I, I think I'm a little intimidated, too. Look at all the things that are here. <laughs> this kind of hurts my head just looking at it. And, ooh, what is this train? Another uh, another supply train that came in, probably. Well, he's doing some switching here. And um, CJP's still working there. Ryan is currently taking an Amtrak. And, unfortunately, he's taking the Amtrak train that has cars I don't currently own. Um, so, you know, it was back in the day when Amtrak used to be a boxcar railroad. Um, that's all they, you know, transported. Um, which, in real life, they actually did have boxcars. Um, they used to transport freight. I think they also had refrigerator cars. And meanwhile, Chris is over here in the Barstow Old Yard. Um, I think that's what it's called, right? Barstow Old Yard? Um, I, I thought that's what this was called. Oh, man. <laughs> He's doing some switching over here in the old yard. It's good to see that this yard is also um, getting serviced. Anyways, I'm going to stop jibber-jabbering. And until next time, thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. See you later. Peace.